This story is an example of why your past or even disability does not have to define your future. So get started. Hello, my name is Paul Alexander, but they call me the man of the iron law. This man contracted polio when he was six years old and as a result had lived in the iron lung since 1952. Paul spends almost every moment of the day in the iron lung which is the only thing that keeps him alive. That's because he paralyzed from the neck down. So without it, he can't breathe. It all started when Paul caused the polio virus when he was just six years old, during one of the worst polio outbreaks in the history. What did it feel like when you first got polio? Well, I started feeling he all played. I ran inside to get mom, and she turned and looked at me, and she said, Oh my God, not my son. For the next five days, I lost everything. The ability to move, my legs would not hold me up, and then I couldn't breathe. They rushed him to the hospital, and the emergency room physician examined him and pronounced him dead. Time later, another doctor came through. He picked me up, according to my mother, and ran upstairs. Repeat. Performed a tracheotomy and put me in the iron lung. I didn't want to die, so I continued to fight. So, Paul did everything he could to get better. He fought against polio every day. It was hard, painful, and thrilling. But I never gave up and I'm not going to. 18 months later, he left the hospital and came to his residence in Dallas, Texas. But his life was never going to be the same. People didn't like me very much back then. I felt like they were uncomfortable around me. What did you do all the day? All the same thing everybody else does. I woke up, brushed my teeth. Wash my face, shaved, had some breakfast. Well, I just need a little bit of help, too. Then what would you do all the day? Well, I would read or study something. If I had a picture, I would do some drawing. I hated just watching TV. Paul worked hard to graduate with honors from high school, but... I did not get into college. They said that I was too crippled and did not have the vaccination. He didn't accept that. Two years of tormenting them to that. They accepted me on two conditions. One, that I take the polio vaccine. And two, that a fraternity would be responsible for me. Finally, something could happen. I wanted to be a lawyer for a long time. After a year of hard work, Paul passed the exam and became the lawyer. And I was a pretty damn good one too. But he didn't stop there. With the help of fan attached to a strip, Paul wrote his own biography entirely with his mouth. So, why write a book? To inspire thousands of people, just like you. No matter where you're from, or what your past is, or the challenges that you could be facing. You can truly do anything. You just got to set your mind to it. But work hard. Paul, what's your dream? To not let polio defeat me, but to defeat polio. Therefore, I wanted to accomplish the things I was told I couldn't accomplish, and to achieve the dreams I dreamed. My story is an example of why your past, or even disability, does not have 
have to defy your future. Wow, what an incredible man with such an inspirational story. I tell you, he might be flying on an iron lung. But my boss, it's his willpower made of iron. It really makes you grateful for things in life, doesn't it? And makes me never want to complain about anything ever again. So, thanks for watching this video. Share and subscribe this channel for more such incredible videos. Thank you.